20 minutes rebounding and I gotta go ahead for my filming. And I gotta take my rebounder all the way back here. All right, good morning. Welcome to 30 minutes rebounding and standing core. Make sure you have a set of light weights by your side and medium. So right now we're just starting with that beautiful health bounce. So let's talk about the health bounce. We have three minutes of health bouncing. We're waking up our body. We're waking up our connective tissue, the lymphatic system. We're getting that blood flow into that digestive system. Yeah, it's really good. So let's talk about proper form. Make sure your shoulders are set back, down and away from your ears. Your hip, knees, ankles and toes are pointing forward. You're merely holding this ball, small deflated ball, in between your thighs to help maintain proper form. So we're focusing on pressing down into the mat, all right? You're focusing on pressing down into the mat. You have a slight bend in your knee. You're not rolling onto the outside of your foot and you're not rolling to the inside of your foot. You have a nice neutral foot placement. So you're not rolling too far back on your heels and you're not rolling too far forward on your toes. You're balancing your body weight between that right and left leg. Let's start some shoulder rolls back. Now let me tell you something else, you guys. We are all on different rebounders, some spring-loaded, some bungee style. Some bungees are stronger, some bungees are softer. My bounce may not look like your bounce. So each exercise I do will be 60 seconds, one minute. Why do I do that? Because I'm teaching rebounding to everybody, not just the people who own Bellicons, not just to the people who own jump sports or sellicizers. This workout is for all rebounders. So I need you to know my bounce may not look like your bounce. And that's due to the different style of rebounders we have. All right, roll it forward. So we're just warming it up with the health bounce. I always start every single rebounding workout with a beautiful health bounce, you guys. Let's do some chest press. Are you ready? Couple more. Now what we're gonna do is start taking our feet off the rebounder. You can have your hands on your hips. Now, if you're brand new to rebounding, hold on to the stability bar. Do that health bounce, okay? So each exercise is 60 seconds. So right now we're just merely jumping our feet off the rebounder. It's a little mini bounce. Woo! Let's go. Oh, happy rebounding day, you guys. Such a beautiful day to rebound. Now, when you land, you're not rolling out with your foot and you're not rolling too far forward in. We call this inversion, eversion, supination, pronation. We don't want that. Woo! Now what we're gonna do is jump forward and back. So from the side, we're holding that little ball in between our thighs. It helps track the hip, knees, toes, and ankles forward. We're kind of still warming up. So again, decrease that forward bounce and that backward bounce. If you're not ready to do what I'm doing, absolutely make this your workout. Yeah, don't worry, we're gonna add those hands in just a minute. Just wanna get that body super warm. Woo, beautiful, right here. Now let's go side to side. Let's 
skiing side to side, soft bend in your knee. You have a little slight, very slight forward flexion of the hips, shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. Just jumping, not side to side now. Right here, hands are on our hips. Not rolling onto the outside of the foot or the inside of your foot. A good tip, if you do have ankle, feet, back, hip, or knee issues, wear a good pair of supportive shoes when you're jumping. That may help as well. Another tip, decrease your range of motion and go at your pace. Bounce in the center. Now we're gonna focus on the little press down into the mat. So let's press it down into the mat. So this is the time I do want you to press your heels into the mat. Whoo! Press your heels into the mat. Are you ready? Get the ball off. Keep pressing your heels into the mat. Now this is a time we're going to get into those arms. We're going to ski right arm, right leg, right here. So we're getting into the bigger movement patterns right here. Your feet are on a railroad track. Let me show you from the side. Press those arms up and back. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. So your legs are on a railroad track, your feet. Soft bend in the knee. Slight forward flexion. Really drive the arms. Drive those arms. You get a greater caloric output when you're using those arms and your legs at the same time. Let's go into a jack. Come on. Focus on the press down from the side. Push. Press down into the mat. Big arm movement. Let's go, push it, push it. You got 30 minutes to get in here. Get that rebounding workout done. Breathe it through. Your timing, your pace. Now again, let me tell you some tips. If you're getting tired, focus on the leg movement only. You can place your hands on your hips. Yeah? Come on. All right, we're gonna run into high knees from the side. Visualize you're bringing your knees up to belly button height. Beautiful running arms. Let's go. From the side, my chest is tall and proud. Shoulders set back, down and away from my ears. Push it through. Come on. Core is coming up next, guys. All right, grab those light ham weights you have. Woo, heart rate's high. I'm grabbing my fives. Okay, my feet are wide. Right here, agitation. My knees are tracking in the same direction as my toes. Beautiful agitation. Right here. We're in that core. Breathe it through. I know we're sweating. So you wanna think that right hip and that left hip is agitating side to side. 
So right hip, left hip, it's not about your upper body swinging. It's about that agitation move in through your center. Come on. Let's go. Beautiful smile on your face. You guys, we are rebounding. How awesome is that? We have all different rebounders, but we're a, we are a world community of rebounding peeps that love our rebounder. And we love to rebound in our way. That's why I'm here. Yeah? Again, it doesn't matter what rebounder you have. The beautiful part is we are all literally rebounding. All of us. We live all around the world too, right? Comment below after class. Let me know where do you live in the world. Greetings from the beautiful state of Tennessee, everyone. All right, now you're gonna just shave the back of your legs. Again, you get to go as quick or as slow as you choose to go. So your palms are facing in towards your butt cheek. Soft bend in the knee, your knees are tracking in the same direction as the toes and you're shaving the back of your thigh and the back of your butt cheek with your palms facing you or facing those butt cheeks. Right here, shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. That chest is open. We are not rounding through the shoulders, you guys. If you're rounding through the shoulders, you better drop that weight. I got five pounds in my hands, right here. Shave the backside of that butt cheek, the backside of your thigh. Beautiful job. Now you're gonna say, shave the side of your thigh. Shave the side of your thigh, right here. Save the side, shave the side. I want those shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. All right, let's put that weight down. Let's grab just one light weight. Can you grab one light weight for me? Bounce in the center. Bounce in the center. One light weight. You don't have to have any weight in your hand. Whew. Now I want you to just hold. I have a five pound in my hand. We're gonna hold it and I'm gonna ski. Watch me. Bounce, 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 bounce as you turn. Come with me, bounce. Do a couple bounces, three and turn. So a couple bounces, really pressing into the mat. That weight stays forward. Let's go. It's a side ski, bounce. So you do a couple bounces and turn. Couple bounces and turn. Today I am on my jump sport. 550 Pro. It's my favorite rebounder out of all of them. You got it. Bounce center, now ski. One weight. You can press it up and down from the side. Right here, let's go. From the side. Again, beginners, you don't have to have any weight. You can have your hands on your hips. That weight is just gonna really increase our caloric output because we're using those arms and legs at the same time. Push it through. Breathe it through, breathe it through. Shh. I have a timer in front of me. So each exercise I give you is 60 seconds. Let's go. Now let's go out and in. I want you to push out. Right here. Push the weight out. As you jack the feet out and in. Pressing. Out and in. Come on. Now again, option, getting tired, focus on the feet only. Or if you're getting tired, focus on the press out only. You have options. 
you can always modify. I do expect you to listen to your body at all times. I am only here to guide you. I do not live with your body. You do. Whoo! One heavy weight. One heavy weight. Standing core. Standing core. Hand behind your head. I got a 10 in my hand. Right here. To the side. Working a lot of internal and external obliques today. Standing. Yeah. Right in through here. Right in through those love handles. We're working it. 30 more seconds here. I want that right shoulder back. Soft bend in your knees. Knees are tracking in the same alignment as those toes. Slight soft bend in your knee. Right shoulder touching that back wall. Right chest is open. Yeah? And those shoulders are melted away from your ears. Reach. It's like shaving. But I've added an element a little more difficult by that right hand coming behind your head. Now let's switch. I want that left elbow nice and open. That left shoulder blade is touching the back of the wall as a visual. So you're sliding that left shoulder blade on that back wall. Of course, that's a visual, but I want that visual for ya. Come on, let's go. Beautiful, right here. Feel right here. Oh, feel those love handles melting away. Why do we move our body so we can stay healthy? So we can do movements of everyday living. So we can live an independent life. So we can strengthen our heart. So we can strengthen our muscles for bone health. So we help prevent disease within our body, yeah? Body movement is so important. Always do body movement your way. Grab the one weight. We're gonna go right hip, left hip. So it's a rotation, but I want that weight to touch the left hip, right hip. I want the front of the weight to touch your hip. It's kind of like agitation. Soft bend in your knees. Chest nice and open. Shoulders set back, down, and away from your ears. We're on an unstable surface, so we're really having to work the core and balance a little more. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get hit back into the bouncing. Now, I'm really take the bouncing up in this track. If you don't like it, you're gonna modify right here in this low bounce or health bounce. It's up to you. Now watch me. Let's go. You can have your hands on your hips. Air jacks. If you don't like air jacks, you can do jacks like this. You can do a health bounce. You can do whatever you want. Taking it up just a little more. Because we can. Because we're warm. Yeah? You have a natural core engagement. You can feel your pelvic floor naturally engaging as you do these air jacks. Beautiful, guys. Your way, your workout, that's what counts. Body movement for life, right? We're in this for life. Moving our body for life. So you've always, at all times, got to listen to your body. Now, I'm gonna jack with a tight rope right here. It's a tight rope jack. 60 seconds, your timing, your workout. You can go quicker, you can go slower, yeah? Pressing down into the mat. Letting that G-force work. So the work, 
so you know is in the press down, not the lift. It is always in that press down. Push it through. Your timing, guys. You know you got 60 seconds. Each move. Bounce in the center. Now we're going to just do a half turn. Bounce a couple. Half turn. Now if that makes you dizzy, you're going to bounce. Tuck jump. Bounce in the center. Tuck jump. Or you get to go side. Side. Now I know some of you get dizzy. So look. Couple bounces, tuck jump. You can stay center, tuck jump. Taking those knees up, where is the work? It is in that press down, right? The work is always in that press down. You're not rolling on the outside of your foot. You're not rolling on the inside of your foot. Right and left leg, evenly distribute the weight. Don't put more weight on that right side of your body than the left. Bounce center. Everyone tuck jump. Let's tuck jump. Or bounce, or health bounce. Focus on driving the knees up towards the belly button. Shoulders step back, down and away from your ears. One weight. I got a heavy weight. Now, we're gonna have that left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna have that weight on that right hip. Cross diagonal pattern. Wood chop, we're gonna go over the left. Wood chop, down, up, down. Two more. Wood chop up, this is core. Down, up, quicker, here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, eight, seven. Beautiful wood chop. Six, five. I got one weight in my hand. I got a 10 pound in my hand. We're going to quickly take that right leg forward. Let's wood chop up two by two. Up. Two, three more. So you take it up and you wood chop down. Two more, standing core, up, down. One more, 16 singles. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, six, four more, four more, and we're gonna cyclone. You're gonna say, Ange, what is that? I'm gonna show you. Over your head, down, and over the back of your head. Cyclone. Now your knees are tracking in the same direction as the toes. Your timing on this one, your timing, how quick or how slow you cyclone that weight over your head, the back of your head. Modify if you have shoulder issues, of course modify. Reverse the cyclone. Again, does not matter how quick or how slow. Take it over your head, back. Let's go. Beautiful standing core balance coordination here, guys. All right, I want that weight in front. We're gonna take a knee, and we're gonna take, woo, major balance. Let's finish. Knee, dumbbell pull down for the core. Yeah, major, major balance here. We're gonna finish. We have one more bounce track, and we are done. Your timing, guys. You're pulling that dumbbell down, bringing the knee up, and you're offsetting, taking that 
weight, putting it back and bouncing in the center. Last song. Oh, breathe it through. Right now you're either in a health bounce or your feet are coming off the mat. Yeah. So you're going to get that left hand up, left elbow up. We're going to cross the midline of our body. It's standing core and it's cardio rebounder health. Okay, let's go. Your timing. One minute, 60 seconds. I want that left elbow to cross the midline of your body. That's where we get that standing core work in. Shoulder is the same height as your elbow. Come on, push, go as quick as you can. Actually, I think we have one more song after this. Come on, push. I want that right knee to cross the midline of your body. It's a diagonal knee. Bounce, get that right elbow up. Let's go, left knee. 60 seconds. Drive it in. That knee and elbow are touching. Whew. Yeah. Cardiovascular health, man. We're getting our heart really strong. So women, if any of you out there are in perimenopause or menopause, I want you to know that cardio, vascular endurance and strength training really helps us get through perimenopause and menopause. It's great for the body. As we're going through this, change of life. It reduces some of the symptoms that we have naturally. Bounce, go into heels. Interlace your fingers. Pull those arms down with beautiful fast heels. Right here, you're focusing on that press down. Can you focus on that press down? Heels pressing down into the mat. Let's go. One more standing core track. And we're done. So we were standing the whole time on our rebounders today. Bounce center. We're gonna put our right foot in the center. We're gonna let that left foot dangle. We're gonna work balance and core. Now you have a big, huge bus wheel. Drive that huge bus wheel right here. Woo! Drive that huge bus wheel to the left. As you drive the huge bus wheel to the left, your knee comes up. Let's go, 60 seconds each exercise. This is it, you guys. Drive that huge bus wheel, drive it. Let's go. Standing core and balance. Push it through. Beautiful smile on your face. Hold on to a stabilizing bar if you need to. Woo, feel those internal, external obliques are also known as those love handles. Melting away, working the core. All right, I want you to shake it out really quick. Put that left foot in the center, right foot off. Grab that big steering wheel, soft bend in the left knee. Let's go. Woo! One side may feel easier than that other side. You're trying to re-educate and rebalance all the muscles of your body. That's why I love unilateral training, where you work one side of the body at a time. You can't be stronger on one side and weaker on another. That creates 
muscle imbalance. That can then lead to injuries. Yeah? We don't want that. I always provide comprehensive workouts that always have components of cardio, strength, core, functional movements for everyday living, balance, coordination, proprioception. You get phenomenal changes if you work out with me. Yeah? I know. Woo! All right, interlace your fingers. Figure sideways eight. Soft bend in your knees. You're, you're in a wide stance. So all you're doing is interlacing those fingers. Sideways number eight, draw it. You're gonna feel that core come with you. It's beautiful standing core work with this standing rotation in through the core. So draw a sideways number eight. Yeah, soft bend in the knee, shoulders set back down and away from your ears. Keep your fingers interlaced. Now circle your hips right to left. Let's go right here. So visualize your right and left shoulder are touching the back wall. Your back elbows are super glued to the wall. That chest is open. Now reverse the circle. In through the hips. In through the hips. Come center, deep breath in. And exhale, cool down and stretch. If you're done, or put the weight, put your rebounder away. All right, you know me, man. I'm all about that hip mobility. Let's take that right leg forward left leg back. Woo! Let's just see what we got. We did a lot of work today. I'm just going to come from the side. Beautiful stretch time. Let's just enjoy this hip stretch. All right, let's take it deeper. Fingertips to the ceiling. All right, take that front hand, lift it to the ceiling. Spinal rotation, mobility, and through the spine. Take that front heel, walk it over to that back heel. Set that front leg down. Beautiful glute stretch. You can rest your upper body down on the mat, lay your hands down, lay your head down, whatever you want. you to take that back leg forward fingertips to the ceiling inhale exhale reach for that straight leg all right your front hand is going to grab the back of that your left foot and your left hand is going to lift eye gaze to the ceiling to the back wall Final rotation. Life like there's a thousand years left. You don't know. All right, other side, other leg. So I did this, so it's our left leg. Or this way. You can put your hands on the ground. Let those fingertips up. All right, take the front hand, lift it to the ceiling.
take that front leg, walk that heel over to that back hip. Beautiful glute piriformis stretch. Whew, let's just sit in this. Take that back leg, straighten it, fingertips to the ceiling, inhale, exhale, reach nice and long. Your words matter, practice affirmations, you'll be a lot Your words matter, what you speak Take that back hand, lift it to the back wall, eye gaze to the back wall. All right, let's reach for a side, nice and lengthened, side lateral stretching. Language for the better. Just because you fail doesn't mean you're a failure. Let's change the language now and forever. Just because you love and other side doesn't make you a loser. Nice long lateral stretch. Let's change the pro. My best days are behind me. My best days are ahead. Let's change the program. Come on Let's to all fours, cat cow stretch. Loosen up the spine. Downward facing dog, butt in the air. Heels down, heels down. Stretch out those calves. Walk your fingers to your toes. Interlace your fingers if you can behind you. Drop, chest expansion, posterior chain stretch. I'm stretching out your calf, hamstrings, glutes, back, shoulders, chest, if you're able to interlace your fingers. If not, don't do it. Soft bend in your knee, release your hands, place your hands on top of your thighs, and roll it up. Shoulder, arm rolls back. Soft bend in the elbow, roll through the shoulder, open up and through the chest. And just reach one arm behind you. PNF diagonal stretching. Take that hip with you, elongating the fascia of your body. Feel the opening. Feel the lengthening. Feel the stretching. Let your fingertips dangle to the ground. Beautiful stretch. Soft bend in your knee. Inhale as you lift. And exhale. We're done, guys.